Located just 5 miles north of Moab is Arches National Park, which contains the world's largest concentration of natural sandstone arches. Although over 2,000 arches are located within the park's 76,518 acres, the park also contains an astounding variety of other geological formations. Colossal sandstone fins, massive balanced rocks, soaring pinnacles inspires dwarf visitors as they explore the park's viewpoints and hiking trails. A fave scenic drive takes visitors to many of the major viewpoints within the park. The park's rock formations delight children as well as adults, with many easy trails providing opportunities for kids to get out of the car and explore the arches up close. Hikers can choose from a wide variety of trails, from short 20-minute walks leading right up to many of the largest arches in the park, to more adventurous hikes and to lesser seen areas. The window section is considered by some to be the beating heart of Arches National Park. The area contains a large concentration of arches and is one of the most scenic locations in the park. North window, turret arch, and double arch are just a few of the awe-inspiring expanses you'll find in just over two square miles. Other new features in this area include Garden of Eden, Elephant Butte, and Parade of Elephants. Double Arch is an easy, relatively flat walk to two massive, soaring arches that are joined at one end. Double Arch is the tallest and second longest arch in the park. You can view the arch from the parking lot or take a short walk to its base.
Pothole arches are formed when rainwater eventually erodes the bonds between sand grains and deepens a sandstone surface. Depression paddle into a hole big enough to punch through an adjacent cliff wall. There are lots of pothole arches in canyon lands, including one on the edge of poison spider mesa. The trail out to the spectacular pothole arch is a fun single track that branches right off the Amasa Buck Cliffhanger Trail less than a mile after you cross the water pipe. Balance Rock, one of the most iconic features in the park, stands a staggering 128 feet tall. While this formation may appear to be an epic balancing act, it's actually not balanced at all. The sleek rock boulder of Intrada Sandstone sits attached to its eroding pedestal of Dewey Bridge Mudstone. The exposure of these two rock strata layers are ideal for the formation of arches and balance rock. Balance rock defies gravity, but this won't always be the case. Eventually, the 3,600-ton boulder will come tumbling down as the erosional process continues to shape the landscape. In the winter of 1975-76, Balance rock smaller sevling chip up the old block collapse, proving that there is no better time than the present to see this awe inspiring giant. Like many of the other named features in the park, Balance Rock can be seen from the park road. It is located 9.2 miles from the Arches Visitor Center. Although parking is limited, many visitors stop to complete the short hike around the rock's base for unusual and up-close perspective. At sunset, Balance Rock becomes saturated and a deep red-orange, making it a great place to end a fun-filled day in the park. This is also an ideal place for stargazing and night photography. Its location is just far enough from the city lights of Moab, Utah, and provides whimsically 
rocky spires in the foreground. picnic area is located across from Balance Rock to the west along a gravel road. The picnic area contains multiple picnic tables, covered canopy, bowl toilet, and spectacular views of Salt Valley and Balance Rock. As I pause here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode and please hit the red subscribe button below for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much.